Welcome back to AlgoJS. Today's question is leak code 347, top K frequent elements. So you're given an integer array nums and an integer K return the K most frequent elements. You may return the answer in any order. So in example one, we have a nums array and we have K, which is set to two. So we need to return the K most frequent elements within the nums array. And as you can see, the output is one, two, and that's clearly because one has a frequency of three and two has a frequency of two. Now, if k was equal to three, then three would be added into the output because that would be k most frequent elements. Now, if we look at the follow-up, time complexity must be better than O n log n, where n is the array's size. So let's work out a solution for this. So the naive approach would be to create a frequency map. And by frequency map, I just mean an object which is going to contain each number and its frequency. So the amount of times it's occurred, so one is going to be to three, two will be to two, three will be to one, and six will also be to one. Then we could essentially loop through this object k times and push into result the largest value. So the first loop, we'd push in this value right here. We push in the key into results. We delete this from the object. Then we'd look and find the second largest value, which would be this one. So we push in the key for that. And once k is equal to zero, we can exit that and just return the result array. Either that, or we could simply sort it and then return the two highest values. And this will have a time complexity of k log n. So how can we do this more efficiently? So if we want to have O n time complexity and space complexity, we can utilize what's called bucket sort. Now, this is just a simple sorting algorithm where we bucket the frequency as the kind of key of the bucket and then within each key we can add into the bucket or an array we can push in these values right here so the numbers that occur x amount of times so let me show you what i mean by that so we have the count index as the keys how many of these values occur zero times well that's going to be empty how many occur one time so you've got three and six so we can add that to the bucket of key one so three and six two occurs two times and one occurs three times then it's just a simple case of looping through this bucket backwards and add into results the nums k times. So we add one into results, k is decremented to one, and then we add two into results, k is decremented. Then we can just return this value. There is, however, a slight edge case here. Say, for example, we had five ones. So rather than one being here, we'd have four and five. One would be in here. In order to get the top two most frequent elements, we'd have to loop through this backwards, but we'd also have to check whether there is a value within the bucket at particular indexes. We can add one into results straight away from five, but then when we get to four, this is going to be empty. So we need to make that additional check to see whether there is actually something within the bucket array. And that's basically it, running at ON time complexity and space complexity. So let's initialize the map, which is going to be an object the bucket and result, which are both going to be arrays. We'll create the frequency map. So we're going to loop through nums. If map doesn't have nums at i, then map nums at i can be equal to one. Else we're just going to increment that position in map. So map nums at i plus plus. Now in order to populate the bucket, we're going to have to loop through the map. So let num and frequency of object dot entries pass in map. So if the bucket at frequency cannot be found, then we can set the bucket of frequency and what I'm going to do is store it as a set where we add the number to that set. So we need to initialize the set before adding a number to it. Else bucket frequency is going to be equal to bucket frequency. And then we're just going to add that number to it. Then we need to loop through the bucket backwards. So i is equal to the last value in the bucket. So bucket dot length minus one, i is greater than or equal to zero i minus minus. If we find a bucket at position i, 
we push into results a copy of bucket i and the reason we create a copy is because we do not want to update the bucket array if result.length is equal to k then we can break right so we found two of the most frequent elements we've pushed it into results we can break from this now and just return result let's run it 